What is up, my crafty friends? My name is Carrie, and I want to welcome you to my channel. Whether it's your first visit or you're a returning subscriber, I want to say welcome, my friend. Y'all, I am so excited you're joining me today because we are going to break out our Cricut Maker 3 today, and I'm going to transform a Dollar Tree picture that I found into this adorable family tree plaque. I'm going to give you the template and you can customize this with anything you want down at the bottom. And I'm also going to show you how to use your infusible ink transfer sheets onto wood. If you happen to be brand new to crafting and you think a Cricut is just something you're going to find in your yard, well y'all, I am going to rock your world because this is a smart cut machine that's going to allow you to create personalized projects with hundreds of different materials. It even comes with a free software called Design Space. This is going to allow you to create your projects and you're going to be able to browse hundreds of images and also fonts. Once you've created your designs in Design Space, you just send it to machine and it does all of the hard work for you. So if you want to find out how to make your very own personalized family tree plaque, keep watching this video. And if you enjoy it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up because that would mean the world to me. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, consider hitting that subscribe button down below and turn on all those notifications if you don't want to miss anything I've got coming your way. So that's enough talking, y'all. Let's hop on the workspace and let's get started. Okay, for our project today, we're going to use a sheet of our black infusible ink. We're also going to use a couple of different colors of our wood veneer. I'm also going to use the infusible ink pens as well as one eight by eight sheet of our Cricut aluminum. In addition to these products, I'm also going to use a groovy picture that I picked up from my local Dollar Tree. First, let's paint two coats of Verithane polyurethane on our maple veneer. We're going to do this on the front and back. You can also use a polycrylic. Next, we're going to head over to Cricut Design Space, and you can see I've got everything all grouped together here, so you can kind of see what the project is going to look like. Now, we are going to be able to change your caption, you can change your names, and we're going to show you how easy that is. So all you need to do is to click on the name, backspace out of there, and then just type in the name you want it to be. Now, you can also go in and change your fonts. You can also change the size. So just play around with it until you find something that you like. You're going to repeat this process for the caption here. If you don't want it to say, this is us. You could change this to your family name or anything under the sun. Next, I'm going to ungroup the layers so you can see what each one is going to look like. Now, after we get all of our layers ungrouped, we do want to attach the letters and the black part together because we want these to both print out on the same infusible ink sheet. So now we're going to hit make it, click on the mat. We're also going to need to mirror a couple of things. Everything that is going to be infusible ink is going to need to be mirrored. So those are going to be the two black layers. Okay, so now we are ready to start cutting. I love that my Cricut machine does all of the hard work for me. So the first thing we're going to do is to pop in that infusible ink pen. You're going to hear a slight flick. Then we're going to insert a piece of plain laser paper onto our mat. And our pen is going to do the work for us. If you want to, you can unpop your pen and just fill in the space if you want more of that solid look. Okay, now we are gonna move on to our wood. I'm using a strong grip mat, and I've also taped down my wood veneer. This color that I'm using right now is the lightest color. This is gonna be my maple color. We're gonna let that cut out. This is the layer that we did our polycrylic on. Once that is through cutting, I'm going to take it off of my mat and then I'm going to pop in that pretty walnut color. Isn't that rich and beautiful? I love this wood. Next, we're going to stick our infusible ink transfer sheet onto our mat. And you want to make sure your hands are super clean and just on, to be on the safe side, I do like to smooth that down with a piece of paper. Any oils you have on your hand will affect your transfer sheet. So once our transfer sheet is all the way through cutting, we're going to weed it out. And I like to weed it out while it's still on the mat. I find that's a lot easier. 
Now we're gonna move on to our aluminum sheet and you're gonna notice when you get your aluminum that it's two-sided. You're gonna remove the protective film from both sides, but you wanna make sure that you only use your infusible ink on the side that is not yellow. You wanna use it on the clear side. Okay, so I've pulled up my heat press guide on Cricut.com and it tells me to heat my heat press for 360 degrees for 120 seconds. Make sure you do peel that protective layer off first. We're going to center up our infusible ink design onto our aluminum. And now we are just going to press our start button and let the heat press do its magic. I just love working with our infusible ink. Okay, y'all look how awesome this turned out. I love that there's no lines, there's no seams. It literally just melts into the surface. So pretty. It's so vibrant. Next up, we're going to take our heat safe tape and we're going to tape down our names that we wrote with our infusible ink pens and we're going to use those same settings that we use for our aluminum and we're going to press those now it's super important that you wait for everything to be completely and totally cooled when you're using your infusible inks before you take off the tape that goes for the aluminum as well it's super hot and you want to make sure that it is completely and totally cooled before you take off that tape okay Y'all, I'm so excited to be able to sublimate with our infusible inks onto wood. Okay, we're in the home stretch and we're going to put everything together with some of this pop dot tape that I picked up from my local Dollar Tree. You can use as much or as little tape as you want to. It's totally up to you. I just like the sort of 3D look that you get. You could also use a glue stick if the 3D look is not your thing. We're going to attach our two wood pieces together first, and then we are going to attach those two wood pieces to our aluminum. Isn't this pretty? I just love how this turned out. Okay, now I see the 3D look. I just love it. I think it just gives it that added dimension, and it makes it look so rich. So now we're going to flip it over and just add some tape to the back before we put it into our frame. Now here is the picture that I picked up from Dollar Tree. You can see that it does have its little cardboard backer already. So I'm going to use that and just use some more of this pop dot tape to attach my finished project to the frame. That just saves me an extra step of having to put a backer on it. The pop dot tape makes it so easy. Okay. I'm going to pop this on to that backer and then we're just going to attach it to the frame. And y'all, this project is totally done. What do you think about it? Wasn't that easy? And it's so pretty. I think the two wood colors together are just so striking and they make it look so rich and upscale, don't you? I used the maple and also the walnut veneers. I think the black outline totally sets it off. Okay, y'all, what do you think about our project? Wasn't that super easy? Just think of all the other things that you could do with this. You could give this as an anniversary gift, like I'm going to give it to my husband. I hope he's not watching our video today. But you could also give this as a Mother's Day gift. You could put your entire family's hearts on here. You could even do grandchildren's names. There's so many possibilities. It would also be super cute if you didn't want to put the names, if you wanted to cut out an extra heart, and you could put little pictures inside that as a little frame. It's a great, great template, and I hope y'all really enjoy this as much as I do. Again, if you want to make one for your very own, I'll have the link to our template down in the comments below. All you've got to do is swap out your title, swap out your names, and get everything cut out, and you are good to go. That's all we've got time for today, y'all. Until next time, happy DIYing, y'all.